Today I'm at the Desert National Wildlife Refuge, a huge, beautiful place with lots to explore. But before I start doing all that, I'm going to go inside and talk to the refuge manager, Amy Sprunger. She's going to tell us what's what. The largest refuge of the lower 48, the Desert National Wildlife Refuge spreads over 1.6 million acres of land and encompasses six mountain ranges. Amy, how are you? Hi, John. Nice to see you. This is Amy Sprunger. She is the refuge manager here. Amy has been with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for the last 25 years, 15 of those as the refuge manager. Now, it's not a state park. It's not a national park. It's a refuge. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? So our primary mission is for wildlife here and the preservation of habitat for wildlife. And, um, you know, national parks have a different mission. You know, they um, emphasize historic places and they welcome a lot more people, obviously, typically than, than a refuge will. But we are specified through legislation for wildlife. That's our mission is wildlife first. The Desert Wildlife Refuge harbors the largest population of bighorn sheep in the state of Nevada. And yet, it's very difficult to spot one. It's actually rare and you can count yourself pretty lucky if you actually see the desert bighorn sheep on the refuge, of course, given its size. Um, but we have between seven and 800 sheep across the entire refuge, but they're very well adapted to the environment. So they blend in, it's very difficult to see them. But here at Corn Creek, it's more typical to see uh, jackrabbits, cottontails, roadrunners, lizards, maybe a snake or two. We do get the migratory birds that come through and we're pretty well known here in the Las Vegas area as a popular birding site. The refuge is also home for 320 bird species, predominantly black-throated sparrows and ash-throated flycatchers. The building is beautiful. It's new, yeah? Yeah, we just moved in in December of 2013. It was actually certified LEED Platinum which means it's very green and energy efficient. Um, and uh, it, we're very proud. We've actually won some national awards because of it. It's a great space. You show me around a little bit? You bet. Let's go. All right. At the Visitor Center, guests can explore wildlife and history exhibits, visit the bookstore, and watch a movie about the area. On average, 40,000 people come to the refuge every year. So this is a mural that the picture is actually taken on the refuge but it represents the species of animals that also can be found on the refuge. We call the exhibit I Spy. It's kind of a fun game that people can look and try to find them. There are 28 species represented, and uh, even when you know where to look, sometimes it's, it's fun and difficult to find them. I spy several rattlesnakes, so yeah. let's just keep going this <laughs> <Okay>. way. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing this outdoor host is afraid of, it's snakes. What's in this room? So this exhibit area spans time. We begin with Nuwuvi, who have been here since the beginning of time. Nuwuvi more likely is known as the Southern Paiute, but then the transition of time moves to history prior to the refuge being established here, which is the ranching period, and then it moves into the establishment of the National Wildlife Refuge here. Managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the refuge was established in 1936 to provide a safe haven for the desert bighorn sheep. Well, this is a nifty display here. Tell me about mm -hmm. it. So this is what we want visitors to see when they first come in, because this is the representation of the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. You have the sheep, the desert bighorn sheep, which is what we were established for. You have the mountains and the geology that's represented, and it's all sculptured. And then, the, um, and then the water, the spring, you know, is life-giving, not only to the wildlife, but of course to humans. But uh, we have a number of springs across the refuge as well. You're doing great work here. You must be very proud of the building, of the refuge, of the work you're doing. I am. As I mentioned, I've been here 15 years. I've been with the Fish and Wildlife Service for over 25 years. And um, it's truly a passion, and it's a great position to have. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having You're me welcome. in today. Really. I'm glad you could visit, and um, don't forget to hit the bookstore on your way out. I'm going to do that right now. All right. Thanks, Amy. The Desert National Wildlife Refuge also offers opportunities for hiking, mountain biking, backpacking, and really connecting with nature. 1.6 million acres of solitude and beauty right on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Just one more thing to check out when you're exploring outdoor Nevada. <music>